So now uh, we'll see about the alerts, data alerts. Okay. So data alerts uh, can be created for uh, three kind of visualizations. Okay. One is for uh, gauges like this, and another is for KPIs, and third one is the text values. Okay, the uh, totals. So these three, uh, for these three kind of uh, visualizations, we can create data alerts. So here actually, uh, for each visualization, we'll have this. There will be bell icon where we can just create uh, an alert. Yeah, here are you able to see manage alerts? Option is there. Okay, so just click on this manage alerts. So here uh, we can add new alert. Okay, so as of now, there are no alerts. So let's just click an alert here. So it is active, sum of sales. Now we can put the threshold, okay? Like above or below some value. Say we can mention 5,000 or, oh, sorry, uh, 5 million or let us mention as 3 million, okay? Okay. So here, if, if the sum of sales is above 3 million, Okay, then this alert would be sent. Okay, so at most uh, every 24 hours. So this will be checked every 24 hours. Or if you want higher frequency, we can have it at most once an hour. Okay, alerts are only sent if your data changes. So this is the thing. Now you can also select this send me email to. Okay. So here there are two kinds of notifications. One is uh, these alerts are sent to notification center. Notification center means here you will get these alerts. Are you getting notifications here? So here you will get these alerts. Otherwise, if you select this one, send me email to, then email also will be notified with the alert. Is it clear? Save and close. Name alert title. We can change it to total sales. Greater than three million. Okay. So now when we manage alerts, so this alert will be there. So here we can delete it or modify it. Okay. Can change the settings, can change the values. Okay. That is for alerts. Now displaying of for dashboards. Uh, yeah, printing. Printing of dashboards, tile, printing a report. So here you can see file options so here are you able to see print this page this is printing of the dashboard let's take this landscape So this is the printing option available. So we can print it like this. Okay. And printing of reports or printed dashboard type. So here you can 
just right click First, let us go to the original report. Let's go to the focus mode. So here we have this print. Okay. Then uh, for report printing, we have so here you have the file in this. This is the option for printing it actually. It is not coming within the print area. Not sure why it is not coming. So here, are you able to see this option for full screen mode? Yes. Okay. So just click on this. So now we are seeing the full screen mode. Okay. So here, fit to screen. So the dashboard, entire dashboard would be fit within the screen. Okay. This is fit to width. Okay. Width would be fit. Fit to screen. This is for closing the full screen mode. You can print this. Okay, are you able to see the 
as well. This is in the print view. Okay. We can also display the dashboard tile in focus mode. So here, click on this. So here again, this is the focus mode. So here you can see the larger screen, large picture, okay. Back to report. We can also see the phone view of the dashboard. So here, we can edit this. Let's go to the so in the edit, we have this mobile layout. Okay, so just select this so it will show the mobile layout. Are you all getting? So here we can resize our uh, like this. We can resize the audience. Okay, like this. You can resize and reorder, rearrange. You can do anything. If you want to unpin from this visualization, you can just click on this. Uh, height tile okay okay so this is the mobile view actually we have a uh, power bi mobile app also so uh, when the reports are published in Power BI service or any website, then those things can be accessed through Power BI mobile app. Uh, that is to give the access on the go. Okay. So if you want to un unpin, just click on this. So here you can see unpin tiles. If you want to pin again, just click on this. So it will be pinned at the end. Okay. So here in the mobile layout, here we have the option to unpin all tiles or reset tiles or view it in web layout. Okay. This is web layout. Okay. This is mobile layout. Are you all getting? <clears throat> 